in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make five vertical options infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here the step one comes again from the right the step two then the step three with different colors step four and then the last step five so it's up to your requirement how many you want four five three so based on that one you can increase or uh, decrease the size of these options so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background. For that, right mouse click, go to Format Background. And from the colors, I'm going to select a light gray color. Then go to Insert Shapes. Select the rectangle. Draw the rectangle, maybe this much size. Shape Outline, make it no outline. And Shape Fill, I'm going to select white color. And make sure that it is aligned center then i'm going to add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select the gradient fill by default you have got four stops i'm going to delete two stop and one stop i'm going to select the black color you can see here and change the direction to something like this which is the linear right you can see here and the second stop i'm going to select the color i'm going to choose the color which i've used in the background and transparency make it fully 100 percent transparent and for this also you can increase the transparency level and then just bring this here and then just send this to back so you can see here there's some shadow effect has been created and I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D, sorry. I'm going to select this, rotate, I can just say flip horizontal. And then again, I'm going to put it here and then send this also to back. So you can see here, I have added the shadow effect on both sides. I'm going to add a new slide, right mouse click and say new slide and just delete this uh, placeholder columns then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select the oval shape from the basic shapes hold the shift key while dragging this one maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color then go to format align center align middle and then i'm going to cut only this part or I want to retain only this part, the other part I want to just remove it. For that, go to Insert Shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle only on this area itself. Then I'm going to select the oval shape, hold the Shift key, select the rectangle. Under Format, Merge Shape, you can just say Intersect. So you end up getting this shape. So I'm going to copy this shape by pressing Ctrl C and bring it here and press Ctrl V. So you can see here I have just added this one here and I can just change the color to some other color later on we can give some gradient fill to it. Now I'm going to select this press Control D to duplicate this and then go to format rotate you can just say flip vertical and place it here exactly and for this I'm going to give a gradient fill so select this one select the gradient fill so I'm going to uh, use two stop. The first stop I'm going to give the darker red and the other stop I'm going to give uh, some lighter red. Maybe just say uh, this color kind of a pink. You can see here and the transparency make it 0% here and here also transparency, transparency should be 0%. And then this one I'm just going to select the same gradient fill I can just go and set the gradient fill like this and the direction I want the red to come on top so I'm just going to select this one so you can see here the red is on top and then to continue this I'm going to add one more rectangle here just draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to use the same color I can go to home format painter and just click it here so you can see here you end up getting like this if you feel that this color is not matching so you can just go and give some different color of your choice whichever color you feel better 
maybe i'm going to select a kind of orange let's see so it looks something like this more of a red and here also i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to select the orange color and here it is more dark red so like this you can also just change it here to the orange color so it looks something like this so whichever way you want you can just change the colors according to your requirement i'm not happy with the colors let me just change this color i want a more darker color here maybe i can use this color you can see here and here i want to use some uh, kind of a orange color so it looks something like this so here also i want to do the same i'm going to select the darker uh, this one here and here i'm going to use the orange one and the same thing i can just select this and so i think this looks more better compared to the previous one and then select this go to format and then send this to back so you can see here i can reduce this also all right and then i can move a little bit outside also so to give more uh, shadow effect to this now if you want you can add one more shadow effect here so if you don't want uh, then i can just continue with this one so i'm just going to select this you can see here these three objects press ctrl d to group it bring the other side i'm going to select this two go to format rotate you can just see flip horizontal and then just add it here and then this one i'm just going to copy it here and it's easy for me to change any color of my choice maybe i can just go give some teal colors here you can see here and somewhat lighter color on this side then select the same thing and just change the direction i want the direction the light color to go on top the dark color sorry and this one also i'm going to select the same thing here all right so let me just align it properly so this is your second option and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d so this is my third option and again make sure that this all this send to back this also send this to back and if you like to add more options then in that case you can just select this and reduce the size and then you can just move it up and add more at the bottom so let me just uh, play with these three options only then i'm going to add the text go to insert i'm saying that this is step 01 you can see here center align bring it here if you want you can make it a white font also i'm going to change the font to century gothic or any font of your choice you can add it here and then you can add the detailed text at the top so this is also i'm going to make it a white center align reduce the size and you can add your own text here or if you want you can add some text outside also and if you have the icons you can go to insert icons you can download the icons and use it here so let me just select this press ctrl d add this one here this will be my step two ctrl d and this is my step three and again i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d so you can see here the design is ready and if you want you can add simple fly in animation to this let me add some simple animation close the format background go to view untick the guides then the animations click on the animation pane so i'm going to use this particular uh, option first or the shape first i'm just saying fly in fly in you can just say from left you can see here and this is very slow and make sure the timing instead of 0.5 i'm going to make it 0.2 so it comes very fast and then based on this one i'm going to select the animation painter click on the top part top part you can make it from top something like this and should happen after previous and this should happen again the same thing i'm going to use the wipe here wipe again from left 
this should also happen after previous but make sure that again the timing should be the same 0.2 seconds you can see here so it looks something like this and then the text you can go to add animation more entrance effect basic zoom click ok this should happen after previous again double click timings make it 0.2 seconds and then you can use a different animation for this go to more entrance effects stretch click ok and from left and again this should also happen after previous double click timing again this also 0.2 seconds so let me just play this one when i click it comes something like this you can see here so using the animation painter is very easy you can just select this one and animate on the other objects using the animation painter that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.